Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Futures Investor. Today, I want to go over whether or not App Harvest is a good investment or not. Um, App Harvest is a vertical farming company based out in Kentucky. Um, they currently have one huge greenhouse, uh, and they have three more coming. Uh, three more coming later this year. So, I want to go over the financials and whether I think this would be a good investment. So the performance for App Harvest hasn't been too good um, ever since the SPAC a couple of we uh, years ago. Uh, we can see the peak was about 35 and it's trading at 3 right now. So this thing has been crushed just like every other SPAC. Uh, and that's expected in this high interest rate environment. So there's a secular shift uh, going on in the United States where uh, more people are looking to eat plant-based foods. Um, so App Harvest, um, they're U.S. grown produce. Um, and we actually get 70% of our um, fresh produce from Mexico. So App Harvest sees a growth opportunity for U.S. grown um, plants, um, fruits and vegetables. Um, so I think that's important because it helps with national security and also um, we don't have a self-reliance on other countries for our fruits and vegetables, which is really important uh, for me personally. So here are some of the positive impacts that App Harvest has on the environment and also its advantages over uh, conventional ag agriculture, so just like regular farms. Um, so since they're located in Kentucky, they're um, within a one day's drive of 70% of the U.S. population. So they're going to use less gas um, than most producers. Also, um, they use 90% less water um, with the way that they grow their um, vegetables, which is really important due to the continuous droughts that's going on. I live in um, California. And it seems like California has been in a drought for the past 10, 20 years. Um, so that's really important. Also, there's less um, spoilage rates in uh, environment controlled agriculture. So they have less than a 10% spoilage rate at app harvest when traditional agriculture is a spoilage rate of 34%. So there's less waste. Also, pesticide free um, which is really important because we don't know um, the side effects of pesticides so these are their um, two facilities coming uh, that they're building this one's gonna grow vine crops so tomatoes cucumbers peppers and then the next one is leafy greens so that should be coming soon and that should help out with revenues because right now they only produce tomatoes so their revenue is pretty light so App Harvest does um, already have a distribution agreement uh, with Mastronardi um, and they sell their tomatoes at these stores and these stores are pretty popular they're all around the US um, another important thing to note about App Harvest is that since they are indoor farms um, they don't deal with climate issues so during the winter um, they are able to grow their tomatoes at the same success rate as they are during the summer so that's a um, big difference between traditional farming uh, and it gives them a competitive edge Um, App Harvest continues to make um, strategic investments into their technology. Um, they acquired Root AI, which should, which uses robotics and um, artificial intelligence, which should increase efficiency and also produce higher crop yields, um, which should set them apart from traditional farms. So in the previous quarter, um, this was released a couple of weeks ago. Um, the company achieved net sales of $4.4 million on 6 million pounds of tomatoes in Q2, um, representing a 39% year-over-year increase. And they also secured um, 
fifty million dollars uh, of a USDA back loan, um, one of the largest ever. Um, I think in the future, uh, App Harvest won't have any issues getting loans from the government. Uh, the fact that they are trying to grow food within the United States and also do it with 90% less water than any other um, agriculture company. Um, that's a really positive thing for the U.S. and also society. So I feel like even though they are turning uh, burning tons of cash, which I will show later in the video, um, I don't think financing will be a problem for them. This is one of the red flags that I see with the investing in App Harvest. Um, I think it's an extremely innovative company, but they're burning tons of cash at an alarming rate. Um, we can see back in uh, June 2021, so about last year, they had $273 million in cash. Now we skip ahead uh, to this summer, and they only have $50 million left. Uh, so that's about $220 million that they burn in one year. Uh, at that current rate, they won't exist next year. So they have a serious cash burn problem. Um, so another serious concern that I have with this company is are their margins. Um, so this past quarter, they had about $4.3 million in revenue. And to produce that revenue, so the cost of revenue was $14 million. So it costs about three times more in revenue to actually produce um, actual revenue. So that's a pretty serious concern. Um, they're going to have to figure out a way to get their margins a lot better if they want to um, be able to exist. Um, so I would expect dilution to happen within probably the next year because at this point they only have about uh, 50 million dollars in cash and then they have a 40 million dollar credit facility um, but they expect to spend about 85 to 90 million uh, in capex spending um, for the full year so I would expect them to have um, some dilution I would expect them to raise some capital pretty soon because they'll definitely need it so overall, I love the idea of making the U.S. a more uh, have a more sustainable future using 90% less water when we produce crops. I think that's a wonderful idea. Uh, but the problem with App Harvest as an investment is that you know they're burning tons of cash. Also, their margins are, uh, to be frank, pretty terrible, and they're losing a lot of money. Um, so that's a serious concern for an investor. Uh, before I would ever think of putting any money into this, I would want to see their margins get a lot better and also uh, a reducing cash burn. So for me, I personally wouldn't invest in App Harvest. But that's just me sharing my ideas with you guys. Um, this is not investment advice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.